This video is sponsored by Coin Mining Central. Coin Mining Central is an online store for ASIC miners, and there's no doubt that right now, ASIC mining is by far looking like the most profitable type of mining. And the miners that I'm personally most interested in right now would probably be the Bitmain L7 and E9 Pro, as well as the Jazzminer X16Q. And what's cool about Coin Mining Central is that they always offer free worldwide express shipping, and I've always felt fully comfortable recommending them to you guys, and here's why. As opposed to most other ASIC vendors that are based overseas, Coin Mining Central is based and run out of England, Europe, where they have to adhere to the very strict regulations for customer support and personal detail protection that we have over here. And of course, all brand new miners come with a full manufacturer warranty as well. And because of this, Coin Mining Central has been a highly trusted ASIC miner store for miners like you and me for over five years at this point. They also care about this community being very active and reachable on social media. And they've also provided loads of exclusive discount codes for you guys that you can use together with the link in the video description to save big on any miner that you want to get. And speaking of prices, I don't know if you've noticed, but ASIC prices have been dropping dramatically these past few months so right now could be a very good time to stock up on some cheap hardware before the crypto market recovers especially considering you get the already competitive pricing that coin mining central has plus the free worldwide shipping plus the exclusive discount codes that i mentioned so go check that out today i'll have all of those discount codes and the exclusive link for you down in the video description thank you coin mining central for sponsoring this video All right. Hey, everyone. So this is going to be a video mostly for those of you who've been asking me to make more like a vlog style mining content here on the channel. But because I was working on this and I thought, hey, this could actually make for a valuable video for some of you guys, maybe. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, guess what? I'm using miners for heating. <laughs> I know I must be the first person to ever think of that. Uh, no, but jokes aside, uh, I was just working on this. So you, you can see we have this little like utility shed thing with like a water heater in here and we obviously need to keep these pipes from freezing so uh, speaking of temperatures we've had as low as i believe yeah below zero degrees fahrenheit so roughly negative 14 degrees celsius so way below freezing temps and i had these quote-unquote unprofitable miners which i think a lot of us kind of tend to write off unprofitable miners as just completely useless but they're not because here's the thing we were gonna pay for the power to heat this little shed anyway with the electric radiator that you can see in here which pulls I believe it's 750 watts and guess what these two miners together pull about 800 watts so in a way we we're gonna have this little radiator running anyway it's like having free power for these miners because 800 watts worth of miners would produce the same amount of uh, heat as a 750 watt radiator or a little bit more even because here's the thing basically i believe like 99.99 percent of all the energy in any sort of electronics like this computer electronics which miners are is converted from electrical energy to heat energy so that means a 800 watt miner like this puts out the same amount of heat as a 750 watt radiator electric radiator like this one would so Obviously, there are some advantages to some radiators like they'll have some will have oil in them Which makes for like a smoother temperature curve like they take longer to heat up But then they keep warm longer and so on uh, They'll have built-in thermostats too and blah 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 But then again with miners like these they have some other uh, like advantages that the radiators don't have For example that they usually have a very directional airflow meaning you could literally point the heat at whatever you want it to heat up so in my case here that would be to point it directly at the pipes now for me i wanted to more generally heat this little shed so that's why you can see that i actually have one pointed to the left and one pointed to the right but that's the general idea of it but hey you know i kind of thought if we're paying for this power anyway i might as well get some crypto out of it so that was the general idea here and I kind of also thought I wanted to make this video because 
I saw that one of these miners that I'm using here is literally only 250 bucks on Coin Mining Central right now with free shipping, by the way. And that is the KD Box 2. So if you have been kind of like needing to heat a little place up, you could like maybe that this could actually genuinely be a good buy. I'm not going to be here convincing you to buy anything or anything. This was just something I noticed. One thing uh, I should bring up is uh, if you are wanting to buy this one, you kind of have to click around a little bit on the web page. I'm sure I'll put up like a screen recording showing you how to do it here to get it to be $250. Uh, but the good thing with these two is like you don't need to buy them with the power supply because you can kind of just plug in whatever old like server PSU you have or even use an ATX power supply according to Goldshell themselves is plenty to power these. And one little advantage of those ones that I saw on the website too is that those are actually the Wi-Fi version of the ASIC versus the ones I have here which need the Ethernet cable so with the Wi-Fi version you can really just put them any old place that you need some heating and you don't even have to worry about you know being able to pull an Ethernet cord over there you just gotta make sure they're within Wi-Fi range as opposed to here where as you can see I need to be able to hook them up to the Ethernet to to sort of get them to mine and get them all set up and speaking of that I have it ready on my phone here like how to set these gold shell miners up. This is me just kind of thought I should provide some sort of value. So to set these gold shell miners up, it's so easy. Like you just go to find.goldshell.com on the same Wi-Fi as your miners are set up on, and then just click the little cogwheel on whatever miner you want to set up, and it will be in Chinese. So then you just switch the language to English. Come on phone. Come on, phone. Also, I notice it's a little bit out of focus. Sorry, guys. My camera isn't set up for this kind of shooting. Uh, yeah, then you just click unlock. And if this is your first time sort of doing it all, uh, the username is just admin. And for Gold Chill Miners, the password is just one through nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And once you fill that in is basically when you can just, yeah, set up your pool and wallet address and all that good stuff in your miner. I'm also gonna show you here how uh, to change like between the different mining modes because I believe I have this miner set up on low power mode. Yeah, so you just kind of have to, I'm just waiting for my camera to focus here, come on. All right, so yeah, as you can see, the power plan it's on now is low power mode. So just click that, change it to hash rate mode to use the full 400 watts, it'll get a little bit more hash rate and then you hit apply. And that's it. Then to change your pool setting, you just hit add up here. And then yeah, super straightforward, add the pool address and port number in the URL section. Your wallet is your miner name and then the password is usually as X unless your pool states otherwise. And that is how you set these miners up. Um, what I've got running right now is the um, KDA box two and the mini uh, what's that mini doge 2 which isn't even the latest version they have the mini doge 3 now but i mean i was gonna use the power to to heat this little room up anyway so yeah check some miners in there the good thing here for what i have going is like I, i'm still gonna have the radiator on and the radiator has a thermostat in it trying to like keep the place like above freezing so that means like the radiator will come on as needs be and the miners will just keep running anyway. All right, um, I'm not gonna ramble on anyway. Hopefully this was helpful or entertaining for some of you. Gonna close this up and keep an eye on it. I've got it on a like Wi-Fi um, enabled smart plug. I can do that because we have native 240 volt here in Europe. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'm sure there'll be some videos on the screen that you can watch next that might be a bit more informative and scripted out and everything. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.